In this video, we're going to talk about chat engine event hooks. What chat engine event hooks do is let you run custom JavaScript code whenever certain events happen in chat engine. So it will allow you to run custom JavaScript whenever you get sent a new message or whenever you create a new chat or whenever you delete a message or delete a chat. All these events have been documented and then these hooks will let you run whatever code you want when the events occur. So I thought a really cool example I saw on a website is when you got sent a message, they changed the header of the website. So it's reminding you to come back and address the messages you got sent, right? So if you wanted to use Chat Engine to create support, you might wanna do something like this with event hooks. So when you send your user a message, you update the header of the website to try and bring them back, right? Or maybe when you get sent a message, you wanna play a sound. Like it, when you use Facebook, you know, it makes a little sound whenever you get sent a message. And the last example I thought of is whenever you get sent a message, you might want to update a notification bell in the header, right? You have the notifications header in Facebook and you get that little red dot. You would be able to make that link with event hooks. So those are three examples, but at the end of the day, it's all the same thing. You just need to run some custom code in your website whenever an event occurs. So let's go through an example of using a bunch of event hooks with Chat Engine right now. So I basically have this little thing in Ant Design called a notification box. When you click it, a notification appears and it will give you some text and you can see what's going on in your website. So what I did for my example project is I basically just created a bunch of notification boxes for every event hook that was listed in the docs. So you can really see that this project is super easy. It's just create React app. And I deleted every file except for index.js. And then inside, I just rendered chat engine with a project ID, username, and password, and a simple height. And then I just listed every single event hook that's a prop. And whenever one of these event hooks triggers, basically, I just render a notification saying what hook triggered, and then console log the data that gets passed into the function. And I'll explain why the data we pass into each one of these functions is important in a second. So you'll be able to guess how this looks. So this is a website. And if I do something like create a new chat, you're gonna be able to guess what happens. Basically, we create a little chat bubble at the top right. And then I write new message. And you're gonna be able to see that at least one or two events are gonna be able to occur here. So the this, the, the last red message in the chat data is edited, and then also the new message triggers as well. And you'll be able to see here that if we go into the console logs, we're passing in a lot of JSON data for each one of these events. Um, interesting, it doesn't look like they're actually getting passed in. Okay, but realistically, the reason that that data is important is because you're gonna have to do certain things contingent on what events happen and us passing in that data is gonna allow you to do it. That sounds very buzzwordy, so let me give you an example. When you get sent a new message and you wanna update the header of the website, you might not wanna do that if it was you who sent the message, right? If you sent the message, then it's not new to you, so you shouldn't update the header of your website. So what you can do with the message data is look at who is the sender of the message, and then depending on whether or not that was you, update the header of the website or not. Right, so we give you all the relevant info to create the right events, depending on what actually happened in Chat Engine. And we can do this by passing you the data that got updated, right? So talked about a lot, but in a nutshell, really event hooks let you tie Chat Engine events to custom code in your website. And there are a lot of events to hook into. And basically they're very simple to use. All you gotta do is just pass in the trigger prop and then create a function that does really whatever you want. And then you'll be able to tie chat engine events into your website very, very seamlessly. So hopefully that helps. If you have any questions, let me know. But yeah, hope you enjoyed it.